future migrants may come from and go to very different countries than right now. number of migrants in the world hasn't actually gone up. I mean, absolute numbers have gone up, but the world population also has gone up. Half a century ago, about 3% of the world population was an international migrant. That's still the same percentage. So if we look at the longer term, actually migration hasn't accelerated. Of course, there's more migrants, but there's also more people in the world. All forms of mobility have gone up, like travel, commuting, business travel, tourism obviously have spiked. But actually, migration in terms of people changing residency has been remarkably stable again. Obviously, with growing interconnectivity between societies in the world, uh, people's awareness of other societies will only increase in the future, but it doesn't necessarily translate into more migration. I think the more relevant question, instead of asking will there be more or less migrants, is asking where will future migrants come from and go to? And there we've seen things happening over the last 50 years that nobody would have predicted. Nobody would have predicted 50 years ago that Europe would become the global migration destination that currently attracts more people than, for instance, the United States and Canada together. So in the future, although we cannot be sure, migrants may come from and go to very different countries than right now. Take one example, China. Many people think that most Africans who want to leave the continent all go to Europe or all want to go to Europe. Now, first of all, the big majority of Africans move within the continent to prosperous countries within the continent. But actually what few people realize is that more and more Africans explore destinations outside of Europe. And China is one of those new destinations. What may also shift in the future is the sources of migrant labor. You know, over the last decade, it's been countries like Mexico, Morocco, Turkey, the Philippines, who sort of played this role of emigration countries and important sources of both labor and family migrants in North America and Europe. Well, those countries are also developing. A country like Turkey, even before the Syrian refugee crisis, had become already a destination for labor and other migrants going to Turkey, and the numbers of Turks leaving Turkey had gone down. But it's almost certain that the future outlook of migration will be totally different from the current one. So the danger is to take a Eurocentric view and think that Europe will always remain the center of the world and the global migration destination, the same for North American countries, those may well shift in the future.